Okay, we're going to look today at how to create a Google Calendar and to share it with your Final Web 2.0 website. All of the calendars on Final Web 2.0 are powered by Google Calendar. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to google.com and we're going to put a forward slash calendar. And that's going to take us to a sign in screen. Now, if you don't have a Google account yet, you can create one by clicking right here. Click on create account. You just fill in your, your information and this will create a Gmail address for you and will also create for you a Google Calendar. Uh, since I already have one, I'm going to click back, go back to the sign in screen and I'm going to enter my Gmail address. I'll click next and key in my password. And this is going to bring me to my Google Calendar. Now I've already got some events entered on the calendar. What I want to show you is how to share this calendar so that it can be used on your Final Web 2 website. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click up here on the settings menu. And then that drops down a menu and I'm going to click settings from that menu. And I have on the left a list of my calendars. Right now I only have two, Bridgeport Church and Birthday. So I want to go ahead and choose the calendar that I want to share. So I'm going to choose Bridgeport Church. And I have here a number of options. The first one that I want to make sure is checked is this one right here, Make Available to Public. I've already got it checked. If you don't have this checked on your Google Calendar, it won't allow you to share the information with your website. So go ahead and check that box. Then I want you to look down for another area that says Integrate Calendar, and it shows something called your Calendar ID. Now in my case, my Calendar ID is my Gmail address. That is the case for me, but that's not always the situation. It depends on how your Google Calendar is set up and if you're sharing your primary Google Calendar or if you're sharing another one that you've created after the fact. The important thing is you want to come to this calendar ID, highlight it, and copy it. So I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard or Command C on a Mac. And then I'm going to go over to my Final Web 2.0 website. I'm already logged in to make changes to my site. What I want to do is I don't have any kind of a calendar right now on my site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Group. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a calendar preview on my homepage. So I'm going to make a, an empty group. And we'll choose Standard. And now my group is empty, so I'm going to click Add Section. This will add a section to this group. And the section type that I want is right here, Upcoming Events. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And right here, I'm prompted for my Google Calendar ID. And as you can remember, over here from my Google Calendar, I copied that from this area right here under Integrate Calendar. So I'm going to paste it in here. And I'm going to click Add Section. And this adds that section to my site. Now I can arrange the way this section looks by clicking Arrange Sections on the left side here. And in this case, I'd like this calendar space to calendar area to take up a little more space. So I'm just going to expand it, the width of it and then click Done Arranging. And now I have a, uh, a calendar uh, preview here on my home page. So when I'm ready, I can go ahead and click Publish Page. Now, this works just the same if I wanted to add a full calendar to my page. And it could be on my home page, it can be on any page. So I'm going to do it uh, over again, but this time I'm going to add a full calendar and not a calendar preview. So I'm going to click on Add Group. Again, I'll choose Empty Group and Standard. And I have another empty group here at the bottom. So once again, I'll click Add Section. And this time I'm going to choose the Full Calendar section. So I'll click there and I'm prompted again for my calendar ID. Now I've already got it copied from this Google Calendar page. So I can paste it right here and click Add Section. And immediately my calendar appears with all of the events. If you want to make changes to the events on the calendar, you do them from the Google Calendar site. So I would just add and remove events from here like I would normally from my Google Calendar. I could highlight an event, I can make changes to it, I can delete it, I can edit it here, and those changes will be synced up uh, to my website uh, after I make them here on Google Calendar. Now if you already have a Google Calendar working on your website but you just need to change the calendar that it's pointing to, you can always do that by going to the section 
that you wanna change. So I'm gonna hover over this calendar section and I have my list of section icons up here to the right. I'm gonna click this one for the section properties for this calendar. And if I want to have this calendar then look at a different Google Calendar, I would simply put the Google Calendar ID for that calendar right here. In this case, I'm gonna keep it looking at this same Bridgeport Church One calendar and save my changes. And I could of course do the same thing with a calendar preview. I would just hover over the section, click on the section properties icon, and then I can change which calendar it looks at by modifying this string right here, just copying the calendar ID from my new calendar. For now, I'll go ahead and save my changes. And since I'm done, I will publish my page. And that is how you add a Google Calendar to your Final Web 2.0 site. If you have any questions about the process or anything, feel free to give us a call or contact us online. Go to finalweb.com support to get in touch with us. Yeah.